New Delhi, July 24, despite the combined presence of Ranbir Kapoor, who has returned to the big screen after a four-year hiatus, and the actor he has played in a biopic, Sanjay Dutt, Shamshera, finds itself at a lowly number 11 among opening weekends, according to the trade news and review site, www.bollymoviereviews.com. The period action drama produced by Yash Raj Films, which is expected to gross as 32 to 34 crore in opening weekend, opened in 5,550 screens across the world, so there's only one way to interpret the collection figure, the movie hasn't really done well. It figures even lower than the dud most recently released by YRF, namely, Samrat Prithviraj, which made 39.4 crore rupees. The first weekend collection is the bellwether for which way a film is headed. The only recent exception was, The Kashmir Files, which picked up, and how, as a result of the buzz about the film generated during the first weekend, keeping that caveat in mind, compare the, Shamshera, collection with that of each of the 10 films above it, KGF, Chapter 2, 193.99 crore rupees, Doctor Strange 2, 79.5 crore rupees, RRR, 75.57 crore rupees, Thor, Love and Thunder, 64.8 crore rupees, Bhul Bhulaya 2, 55.96 crore rupees, Samrat Prithviraj, 39.4 crore rupees, Gangubai Katewadi, powered solely by Ranbir's wife Alia Bhatt, 39.12 crore rupees, Jug Jug Jio, 36.93 crore rupees, Bachchan Pandey, 36.17 crore rupees, and, finally, the third Hollywood release on this list, Jurassic World Dominion, 35.55 crore rupees. Shamshera, according to www.bollymoviereviews.com, cost 150 crore rupees to make, of which 50 crore rupees was Ranbir's fee. The only reason why YRF has no real cause for worry is the renegotiated 350 rupees crore, 4 movie deal the production house has inked with Amazon. Unfortunately, for the streamer, three of the four films, Bunty or Bubbly 2, Jesh Bhai Jodar, and Samrat Prithviraj, have not done really well at the box office. Now, Shamshera, doesn't offer much hope either. YRF also has a 500 rupees crore, multi-year, multi-movie deal with Sony TV signed in 2019 for satellite rights. That's also money in the bank for YRF, but where does that leave the streamer in the general entertainment channel? Will they be wary now about signing such deals and focus more creating their own content? As they say, only time will tell. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to channel and click on bell for more daily videos.